Harrison Hightower, you punch your ticket for Oklahoma City at 165 pounds. Some ups up to happen. And uh, McMurtry, mm -hmm. go out there, you start running those bar halves. Mm -hmm. Talk about that match when you see he beats Toll. Yeah, you know, so I saw Toll um, lost that match, you know, and obviously I was expecting to wrestle Toll, uh, but then when I saw that, you know, my mindset changed a little bit because I did wrestle, um, I've wrestled both. I lost to Toll earlier in the year, and then I beat McMurtry uh, this year with a pin. So, you know, I kind of just kind of went out there and, you know, hoping just to do the same thing again. Looking at, you know, you've had a, quite the journey, actually. You mm -hmm. went to Virginia Tech to start. Mm -hmm. Now you go to Athens. Yep. How beneficial has that move been for you, Harrison? Um, you know, I think just for me personally, it's just a better place. Um, I connect with the coaches a lot. You know, um, I know a lot of the guys on the team, and I'm a lot closer to home. Um, my brother actually lives in Athens, too. So there's just a lot of things that benefit me, you know, and it worked out in my favor. Why don't you have a mustache? Um, you know, because I look like a nine-year-old girl on steroids, so... <laughs> Coach Greenlee, one of the friendliest guys. Mm -hmm. I call him the Jolly Green Giant. Yeah. Wrestling for a guy like Joel, mm -hmm. how good has that been for you personality-wise? You know, um, me and him click. Um, Joel, you know, everyone loves Joel. He's just a nice guy. But personally, you know, I, I don't think I've found a coach um, like Joel before. So, you know, meeting someone that you really connect with and having them be your coach, you know, is a huge thing because, um, you know, without them, you know, you're kind of stuck. You've kind of fallen short, you know, so far in your career. You yeah. don't put, you know, you're in a round of 12 mm -hmm. to place at the, the scuffle. You don't mm -hmm. place there. You know, you haven't made the NCAA tournament mm -hmm. yet. What's it like knowing that you will be in Oklahoma City with a singlet on? What's just, that like? It's just a lot of weight off my shoulders, you know. Like you said, I, I feel like I've kind of came short a lot of the times. You know, I placed that scuffle last year, didn't place this year, you know. So I thought I had a lot to live up to, you know, a lot of things that I needed to prove for myself this year. And, you know, hopefully uh, it doesn't stop here winning the winning the MAC and then going on and making some noise in NCAA. Seeing how Cody's wrestling, do you feed off that? He's hurt. He's not 100%. Mm -hmm. He wins that crazy match with Ottinger. Mm -hmm. Do you feed off that a little bit, you think? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's been strict with injury throughout the year, whether it's been his head, his knee, you know. And uh, he's going out there and he's battled. So, you know, you get a lot of credit to him and you see what he's doing. Um, you know, you try to emulate that. So, Is Athens the best college town in the United States of America? Yes. Do you love it there? Yes, I love Athens. It, it, there's nothing to dislike about it. Um, you know, other than during the year, you got to stay away from uptown. Other than that, you know, it's it's the best place to be. All right, you got anything else for me? Uh, go Bobcats.